Here is a summary of the exponential distribution. It is the fundamental distribution with positive support. In fact, this course, which is a calculus-based course in probability, is a prerequisite for two other courses. And the first course is mathematical statistics. And the distribution that lies kind of at the center of mathematical statistics is in fact the normal distribution. But there is a second course, sometimes named stochastic processes, but it can assume other names as well. And a stochastic processes course has the exponential distribution sitting at the center of everything. So it is a fundamental distribution. And in stochastic processes, you might look, for example, at queuing theory. And the exponential distribution sits in the middle of queuing theory, where you study waiting lines. Or you might study reliability. And in reliability, the exponential distribution is the central lifetime distribution in both reliability and in something known as survival analysis. So this is a key distribution in that it, there's a whole field that is in many ways centered around the um, exponential distribution. It is a nice distribution in that it has a closed form cumulative distribution function. It also has a closed form uh, moment generating function. It has a single positive parameter lambda that is known as a rate. It is the only continuous distribution out there with the memoryless property. The only discrete distribution, of course, was the geometric. The probability density function is f of x equals lambda e to the minus lambda x. The support is x greater than 0. And there's a lot of things in the real world that uh, assume just positive values. The, the moments here are the population mean mu is 1 over lambda. The population variance sigma squared is 1 over lambda squared. One last thing that's new about the exponential distribution is not everybody parametrizes it in this fashion. It's not always parametrized with a rate. Sometimes it's parametrized with a parameter theta, which is the reciprocal of lambda. And it looks like this, 1 over theta e to the minus x over theta. In this particular case, the population mean is theta, and the population variance is theta squared. So sometimes it's parametrized this way, and sometimes this way. So you might want to watch for that as you're reading out there in the literature, or perhaps reading another probability textbook.